Hello, Beard Brothers out there. I want to say I am doing great. I am so happy I have my beard and my beard's doing great as well. I've come to some conclusions and done some things since my last video. I'm really excited about it. So for as long as I've had a beard, which has been a very long time, I've trimmed it over the years several times, but I haven't shaved now since my daughter was born. My oldest daughter, who now is 15 years old, so it's been 15 since I want to say put a razor to my face, but that's not true because there are times where I've trimmed the sideburns and but 15 years since I've actually shaved the beard. And uh, like I said, I've trimmed it, but I've never cut it off. And I feel amazing about it. And I feel this is the best my beard has ever looked. And I want to just tell you guys out there to persevere, get through that first stage when it's itchy or you haven't doubts. Forget about what other people are saying about how it looks, if they don't like it or anything else. Uh, I was contemplating about the beard and so on, but then I just looked and researched, and as you saw in my last video, I never knew that trimming the sideburns will just give your beard like such a cleaner look. I, I never knew that, and they always used to come out here. And now I know why they gave me, they call me, oh, you look like you're homeless. I kind of want to take a scissor and go to every homeless person with a beard and just cut their sideburns and make it look neater. It's not the length. I figured this out. It's, it's just that part is tremendous. Well, another problem I've always had is uh, whenever I would shake my head or rub my beard, a bunch of flakes would fall out. Same thing with my hair, actually. And I've had beard oil over the years where I put in my beard, but... I never realized you're supposed to rub it, get it in your fingers and rub it in and touch your skin with that beard oil. Miracle, amazing, all these years. So now I do that, I have a beard oil that I make myself with essential oils and I just rub it in and I guess that oil's getting into the skin so it's stopping the dry skin from happening. I'll even rub some of my hair, no more flakes. Amazing, amazing. So another thing I'm experimenting with and trying, I've always used shampoo and conditioner that was ever in my shower from my daughters, what they use and so on, or just whatever was in there, soap or something to clean my beard. It's so important to keep the beard clean, keep the neck clean behind the beard. But that's what I've always used. But now I've read recently or saw recently that it's all hair is not the same. And to get your beard softer and healthier, you know, not all conditioners are the same. And a specific condition is made specifically for the beard. And so this is what I'm experimenting now. And I looked and I just looked for different ones. So I found this one. It says not a review and it's not an endorsement. It's just something I'm trying. So I'm letting you know. So far, I tried it one time. And I haven't known much of a difference yet. Uh, but but I'm definitely going to do it on a regular basis so the bottle runs out and see. But it's a it's a beard lotion. Uh, it's called a beard ocean uh, beard no lather condition wash by Beard Octane. Some of you had recommended it, so I got this. And I can tell you, you know, it doesn't look like a big bottle. And I'm like, how long is this going to last? It's only eight ounces. But I literally put like a drop in my hand and put it in my beard, and that whole thing got foamed up. So I was impressed. So this should last a long time. Uh, so I'm looking to see if it makes any difference. I I always love my beard. The name of my YouTube channel is Love My Beard. <laughs> and we should all love our beards. But I feel and believe, and I thank you all for your vote of confidence, that my beard looks better now than it's ever looked before. And I, I feel so wonderful about it. I continue to try to shape the mustache over my lips without trimming it. And, you know, recently I did snip it here to make it a little even. But I'm very impressed and happy with the way it looks. And I just want to encourage you all, if you didn't know about these tips, because I know a lot of you that will watch this too, but if some of you are new to having a beard or some of you struggle because people are saying your beard doesn't look neat or whatever, Trim the sideburns, 
Not here, definitely not back here, but here. Just up to the earlobe. You can trim that so it doesn't stick out. So trim the sideburns. Don't trim back here. Don't, that's the fullness of the beard. And, and I, I haven't trimmed here, just up to the below the ear. I trim them. Let's get a look there. And I feel amazing. So uh, it's kind of interesting also, maybe some of you have a comment about this one, but it's interesting where my beard here, here is black and around my lips are black, but the rest of it is white. Isn't our creator interesting and funny? You would think that if the beard was black in the past, that blackness would be at the edge because now the whiteness is growing in, right? So why is it white, a black here and white down here? Very interesting, but it seems I'm in a transition stage of going from pepper to all white, but there's the blackness there. So I don't think in all men it's the same. I think all men have a different situation, but that's quite interesting. So let's share your opinion with that, everybody. When your beard went white, did you have the blackness here for a while and here um, or down here? Like what turned white first? And it's another thing that's interesting is I don't have white hair, but I have a white beard. Now, I know men that grow goatees, that often happens. Their beard turns white before their hair turns white. But this has been for years now. My beard's been white for quite a while or pepper. But my hair has been pretty good in terms of not turning color. So it's just an interesting observation. So the beard oil, the conditioner, the trimming, the color. I just love thinking about it and getting it to a place where uh, I'm liking it a lot. And uh, thank you all for your comments. Because when I was thinking of possibly trimming it or something, you all said, no, it looks great. So thank you. All right, beard brothers out there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And I hope something I say could help you or encourage you to keep it growing. Let it grow, let it grow, and beard on. Grow your beard. Grow it long, stand up strong for your kingdom.